Hello and welcome to tonight's live sizing and styling guide. If you guys are catching this part, you are probably catching the replay. Make sure to comment hashtag replay. Let us know that you were here and that you saw this. And if you're hopping on while we are live, say hello. Let us know that you are here, that you are watching, that you're with us again. And normal night. Normal night. Normal we're back life. to our normal night. Doesn't feel like it's been eight days since we went live, does it? I oh guess. My goodness. I guess I didn't. Really I know think we had about... an extra day. Hello, hello. Welcome, you guys. Happy Wednesday. Say hey as you hop on. I'm just gonna. I have to catch my breath. I just went for a little <laughs> little jaunt to through you the warehouse. Said a brisk walk. It was a brisk walk. It was just a brisk walk, but it was pretty brisk. Pretty brisk. Pretty brisk. <laughs> Say hey guys. Let us know that you're here. Happy Wednesday. Can be back to my normal, like talking about the days of the week. Last week. It's always weird when we do things off a day to try to get back. Well, not to get back. Of getting back to normal. To get normal. back in the groove. Yeah, to get back in the groove. It took, a, took us a few days to get back onto a normal sleeping schedule. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you guys, what a week it has been. I hope you all had a fabulous Thanksgiving and Black Friday weekend. We were slammed. Thank you to all of you who shopped and supported us. To those who came locally, like it was such a fun day fun day, exhausting day, but so much fun. And we were blessed to have some help from our <coughs> husbands and some of our friends made the trip and came to help us. Stayed all night. They were troopers. Yes, we had a <laughs> bunch of friends. Hello, everybody. Hey. Spend the night with us. Yes, spend the night awake. It was so weird like to try to figure out Friday because we had like basically been up all Thursday for Thanksgiving and then all Friday night we were here working and then we stayed and we shipped until 4 30 um on Friday afternoon and at points throughout the day it was like what do you mean it's 10 a.m like we, <laughs> we've been shipping now <laughs> since 2 30 is when we started shipping yeah for seven hours <laughs> and it's 10 in the morning? I think at 10 a.m. we were only through like the orders that were up to 1.30 in the morning. <laughs> yeah, it took a lot. Like we did it, it took a long time to get caught up, but it was just busy, but it was so much fun. So thank you guys all who shopped and were a part of our weekend. It was, it was fun. It was fun. But everybody's back Friday, Cyber Monday orders all went out. I think we finished up, caught up yesterday with Cyber Monday yes. and everything from the weekend. So um, that is awesome that by Tuesday they were all out and hopefully everything's moving. It seems that we are getting good response of packages arriving on time and quicker than normal. I even saw one of our mail ladies today and I said to her, I said, I am so impressed um, it was actually my, my home <coughs> mail, sorry, you're okay. My home postal worker and, um, she's been used to picking up all our orders till we moved. She would pick all up all your stuff. But I said, I am so impressed with how quick things are moving. And she's like, they are, things are moving really well. And I was like, good. I'm glad to hear that. Cause normally she'll be pretty honest and be like, yeah, it's a disaster. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So she was like, yeah, everything's going good. So. I'm like, good. Okay, let me send this. And then I think we can go ahead and get started. Cyber Monday order was there yesterday by 8.30. We'll take that. <laughs> did you get that notification? Yes, okay. I did. Okay, well, that's good. And then I think... I'm shared. If you guys share for us, thank you. We appreciate when you share. While I'm doing this little part of sharing here, um, but we definitely appreciate it. it. Helps us grow. We love hearing like that your friends are coming into shop or shopped online and all that stuff. So thank you for doing that. And I think I'm good to get started. If you are, I'm put that down. 
Oh, okay. Hello, everybody. I hate not being able to see all of your comments as you say hi and hop on, but I'm always like so tied up getting, getting caught up on stuff. So you guys, um, we have a fabulous lineup of new goodies for you. Um, a few holiday specific ampersands are here. So you get to see these throughout the night. Um, these just arrived and I think late last week, like too late for us to get them out. Um, but they are fabulous. And this is part of the ampersand holiday collection. So, um, they are beauties and I think you all are going to love them in the little details details on them. And then of course there's tons of other stuff. So we just decided to mix these in so that way we could get them released to you as soon as possible. Um, so that way you guys can wear them throughout the, the month and the holiday time. So, all right. Okay, so if you're new here, let me give you the rundown real quick. This is a live sizing and styling guide. We're going to go over the fits, fabrics, and the details of the new goodies that are releasing today. And immediately following the live, we post all of this to our website and our app where there you can go ahead and do your shopping. So no need to claim throughout the live or comment unless you have questions. You can pop your questions up. Um, and Christina is, of course, here where she's going to um, pop up all the details about the outfits that we try on in the comments. And then if you are a curvy girl and you want to see something, Thing in some of the curvy sizes, let us know and Christine will pop those on. But I'm Rachel. I'm about a size 6, 8. I tend to wear smalls on top. I'm about a size 7 on bottom. Um, and everything here at the boutique we carry in small through 3X, um, extra small and ampersand, of course. And yeah, I think that covers it. So let us know if you guys have any questions throughout the live. Otherwise, we'll get started. We'll get through these so that way you guys can do your shopping um, on the website or on the app afterwards. If you don't have the app, make sure to download it because there you can create a wish list of your favorite items if you can't get them all today. Um, and then you can also just shop conveniently in one place, track your orders, um, track your style, stash, our rewards program, and all that jazz all in one place. So it's nice to have the app where you get notified of lives and all that stuff. So make sure to download the app. Just look on Google Play or the App Store and search a Boutique by Rachel Clark where there you will be able to find it. So I think we can go ahead and get started if you are ready, Christine. Oh yeah, you just keep talking. I'll drop a comment. All anymore. right. So, um, like I said, new ampersands today. And of course, and like new ampersands after we had a really great ampersand sale, but you know, these are ones you just can't turn down. So, um, this first one is this super cute cowl neck here. I'm trying to read the tag. It's called love at first Love it frost sight. Oh, love it frost sight. Um, so really stinking cute, you guys. This is a cowl neck with the kangaroo pocket on the front. That means your hands can touch. And it is just the sweetest little combo of colors. Does this look like it has a pinky creamy hue to it? Or what does what does it look to you in person? It, I think that it I think that it's cream, cream. because of the little dots, dots on it. Dots, it gives it, it a little reads, bit of a... Yeah, that reads, pink tone. Okay, so the creamy color here, and then it's got just like these little light pinky kind of mauve... Um, they're almost like a little chevron shape, but they're so small. And then it's got this really cute kind of the Fair Isle print in there with the pretty teal sleeve um, that has that mix of colors. It's just really stinking cute. I love that it has kind of the shadow of some trees on the background there. Um, and it's a triple stretch. So triple stretch ampersands tend to, um, of course, have great stretch to them. They run true to size. Um, but something to keep in mind is that cowl necks are, or ampersands are cut on a straight cut cut line. So I'm shown in the small and you can see that it is more of a fitted sweatshirt. So this is one that if you like a roomier fit and you want some more room in your midsection, go up one. That would mean I'm a size small. I wear a small in almost everything. I'm extremely comfortable in this, but if you like a roomier fit, go up one to the medium. So I'm a size six, eight shown here in the small. Um, and I absolutely love it. And one other special little detail on all of this holiday collection is the cute uh, leather patch that is on the sleeve here that has the ampersand logo on it. But I love that little detail. There also is the classic um, leather piece down at the bottom. And then what is this? I was feeling this at the beginning. Is there something back oh, yeah, there's here? A patch oh, back there's a leather here patch back here too. Look, that all says, great look at all the little details on this one. So triple stretch, true to size. That you, a lot of you I know who've tried ampersands before know what size you like in these, especially the triple stretch ones. One thing to keep in mind is that this print is printed. So it's printed on. So the more you stretch it, the more it kind of distorts the print. So we don't want you to, to size down in them because that's going to distort the print some. So make sure that you're sizing 
properly to account for that area. So some of the triple stretch ones, we might be able to get away with a smaller size a lot of the time, but I always like to point out when they're printed and just so you know that it's going to be stretched a little bit more, but absolutely adorable. I love the colors in this. It has the thumb holes, of course, with the fun red detail. Um, and I have this paired with, I think these released last week. These are the Judy Blue Acid Wash Boyfriend Jeans. And by golly, they are adorable and so comfortable in this really vintage um, acid wash here. They are just fabulous. They've got heavy distressing to them and they're definitely a throwback feel jean, but they are awesome. These run true to Judy Blue sizing for a boyfriend fit. So I'm in my 728. You can see I have extra room in these. A lot of people opt to size down one in boyfriend jeans and in this particular pair, I'd say you can as well if you normally do. They are so comfortable and have that great stretch. Stretch, have them paired here with the cute, um, I think these are called Mix It. Yes, those are mix. Um, the mix or just mix. Are they mix or mix it? I can't remember. I think it's mix, mix and then there's milk it. Oh, mix. Okay, so these are the mix little sneaker. Um, they are red black and have a wee bit of navy in the plaid print on them. So they're really comfortable, run true to size. Um, if you have a wide foot, we say to size up one or half a size in these. So I think that covers that. Oh, and new earrings today. We have a few new fun holiday earrings releasing. Love this one because again, it has that reindeer print, almost the Fair Isle kind of detail that goes with this one. So these are the itty bitties. They are cork and leather bonded together. So they're nice and lightweight. Um, and so they don't weigh down your ears. If you kind of destroyed your ear holes and you don't wear uh, heavy earrings anymore, these are really nice and lightweight and a great size and super cute and they're fabulous. So those will be releasing today as well. And I'm gonna go ahead and get changed so we can keep on scooting through. You go ahead and get changed. I will we'll allow it. You know what I didn't pull for you were any anchor seams? Um, I you, you know, that. I feel like I knew that. Okay. And if I need to, I can run okay. and grab. It will be. Oh, those right. were not in the bin, so you would have to pull. Oh, yeah, because they all got checked in today. Yes, yes checked in today is right. That's what we like to. People will come in and shop on Wednesdays and ask us what's going to be on the live. <laughs> and we have to truthfully tell them, truthfully, that we have no idea because. We were still checking in boxes at 7 o'clock tonight Yeah, <laughs> to figure out what we were showing. It's been a crazy week, and though we've had lots of extra hands around here, we still just can't seem to keep up um, with all of the tasks. So We work better under pressure anyway. That's it's true. It's totally... It's, is our mom on here? <laughs> we she got this from her. She gave us She's going to be offended. For how much we worked last week, and I was like, well, we didn't learn that from a stranger. <laughs> you had two jobs the whole time we were growing up. Yeah. Two full time jobs. Yeah. So we we learned it from our mama. Yeah. Come by it honestly. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes I think she'll tell my husband, like, Rachel needs to work less. I know. And I'm like, I learned this from her. Don't let her trick you. Um, okay. Next up, you guys, is the Living in a Dream Wild waffle knit shacket. We have got shackets and shackets and shackets for you guys today. Um, and they are fabulous. Shackets are all the rage this year. If you haven't tried one yet, uh, do it. They're fabulous. They are so comfy and so good. Um, and we are in love with shackets. So a shacket is a shirt or a jacket. It can be worn either way. Depends, of course, what environment you live in. But what's great about them is that they do suit everybody everywhere. So if you are living in Florida and you you need a lightweight jacket for this time of year, a shacket is perfect. And then if you live in Michigan and you want to wear something that's heavier weight all day long, as a shirt that's a nice weight, then you can wear it as a shirt. So it's a, sh a shirt or a jacket, the shacket. So this one is super cool because it is um, kind of a vintage wash again. We're kind of on this vintage wash. It's totally back in um, waffle knit and it is stretchy and it is comfy and it is soft and fabulous. This one is called burgundy. I will say that it reads more on the mauve purple, dark purple side of burgundy. Um, the stock photos are going to be correct when you see them. It is not a dark tone. Even if I get close, you can see it probably was more burgundy before it went through its acid wash process. Um, so that's where it gets the name from a burgundy. But this is quite true where it's mul mulberry would actually be like a good description of this color. Oh, look at you yeah, look at that. Look at um, I must be really rested. Um, but this one is so cool. But look at that waffle knit. It's not an easy snap. 
snag or anything. Um, sometimes those waffle knits can be a real light weave. This one's a nice tight weave and it's structured, but it has that great stretch. Fabulous sleeve length on it. Um, I love the edges are like a sweatshirt material as well as the pocket. And you can see that again, it's just the waffle on the inside. So it's not super heavy, um, but it's a really, really great weight. Like I feel warm and cozy and nice and comfy in this. So sizing on these. Sizing on Shackets is pretty consistent, I would say, even though they might be different brands and different materials. Shackets are meant to be roomy. They are meant to be oversized. Um, that is always the intention of them. All of them that you've seen us show this year are a roomy, roomy fit. So the idea is that you'll be able to layer them over a sweater or a sweatshirt, something heavier or something light. Um, and it is, like I said, it's meant to be roomy and comfy and cozy. So our recommendation is going to be stay true to size unless you want it to be more fitted. That's a personal decision. Um, but I love true to size. You can see I've got lots of room in here and lots of, lots of slack to it. That's the intention. So if you want it to be less roomy on you, size down one, because that is what is, um, that is going to be up to you and your choice. But this just has a really great brown button on it. Absolutely loving this. I could go on about it for hours, but we have a whole live to get through, so I better speed up. Um, this is 95% cotton, 5% spandex. And I think Christine's going to be giving you a sneak peek of another color. Know, it's okay. We'll still throw it in. Um, and what I layered it over, something I love is that you can layer it over things and kind of hide what the other shirt is, but then also have a cute coordinating item with it. So this one I have on um, a long sleeve top. Do you remember the name of this? The, uh, get Your Calm On. Okay, Get Your Calm On. So this is a really cute top that has the same, it's kind of a textured waffle knit up here. So it's coordinating. So if it ends up showing or if you're getting lazy and you want to wear your shirt off, um, your, your shirt semi off, not your shirts off, uh, but off the shoulder, like you can kind of see it just a wee bit, but I love that detail. So you can wear these with something that's printed, something that's solid, layer it over a short sleeve tank, anything. So this top that I have with it, um, what did you Christine say it's called? Get your calm on. Get your calm on. Uh, if you haven't seen this one, this was released a couple weeks ago, but it's just a really cute, nice top, you know, to have in your closet, lightweight knit material in this pretty cream. It's got the balloon sleeve then just this little detail up top but otherwise slightly relaxed fit true to size for the relaxed fit and it's fabulous so absolutely loving this combo and christine's going to come show you guys like i said sneak peek of different color i know sometimes when we're getting ready we don't pull every everything in our haste hi everybody thanks for joining us tonight if you're new here i'm christine i am typically a size 14 16 in pants and i wear a large extra large 1x in tops depending on the brand but we'll always clarify what size i am in so like rachel said sneak peek this is the exact same jacket same details that she went over same fabric content same design where you've got that sweatshirt material pocket but this is the stone colorway. You're gonna see this on later paired with something else. I just didn't pull the uh, mulberry color. I can't even remember what the official color was. Um, the mulberry for myself. So this is the 1X, if I recall which brand this is. The 1X or the extra large? It's interchangeable with this brand. Um, there is not an extra large and a 1X. So if you go to the website and you click that drop down and you see extra large or 1X, however Rachel labeled it, look at how good this fit is. Absolutely love the length on it. I have it over a lightweight sweater. So if you guys saw the ampersand release a few weeks ago of this fabulous Graham leopard collar, I couldn't resist. So that's what I've been wearing all day. So you can see that it's a comfy fit, plenty of room, even over a lightweight sweater. So you can do it over blouses, like the shirt that Rachel had on. You can do it over some graphic tees. You're going to see that. But I really enjoy my true to size. The sleeve length is really good. The length overall is really good. This is not one that I would adjust in. I know we've said before you can size down in them. You can see I've got room here, but if I ever want to layer over anything thicker, like a big hoodie or something, then it's going to be too snug. They sold today. <laughs> she's standing there staring, and I know that she's looking for her hot pink collies, but they are gone. <laughs> Just staring at the shoe wall, trying to pick what she's wearing next. So I enjoy my true to size in this. Absolutely love it. So... What jeans are you wearing? I will drop the link to them because I cannot remember. I mean, I know what I have on, but I can't remember 
the name of them. I think they're just the Judy Blue Heavy Hand Sand Skinny, but I will double check this. This is a pair that Rachel and I fought over and she waited until her size sold out <laughs> so that meant I got them. <laughs> but I'll find the link for you and drop it in the comments. Never fair. Never. <laughs> Um, you guys, I know you probably are like, Rachel, you say this every other week, restock on her favorite earrings. He's arrived again today um, because they sell like hotcakes. So I feel like every week I'm doing a reorder of them. So if you haven't tried them before, again, these really cute little dangles, look at how sparkly the silver are. Um, they are just beautiful. The rose gold. I, they just are, they're a great price point. I can't remember exactly what these are. 12, 13, something like that. Um, I'm pretty 14? Oh, man. I think 14. 14, 14 maybe. But still, absolutely gorgeous little earrings. Again, lightweight, so they're not um, hanging, you know, pulling your ear down. This is the gunmetal. They are our biggest seller by far for all of our earrings. Everybody, it's like they collect all the colors and all the shapes. Um, they are fabulous. Did they not make it in there? No. No. And <laughs> I can run. I can we run have a new color, them. too, in them that I wanted to show you, and they're not in my box. So, anyways, make sure to check these out. They will be tagged in today's category, so that way um, you guys can be able to find them easily in the new this week, the featured collection new this week, so that way you can see them. Um, okay, did you already put my outfit up? Uh, no, I did not. So, yeah, I these are going to be on the site restocked. Just waiting for my comment. Okay, it's heading your way, Trina. Oh, I'll drop the link so for soft. you. Again, another new shacket, you guys. I could just snuggle up in this. We actually already released this in a brown, a pretty camel brown color um, that we still have a few left on the site. So make sure to check it out. This one is called the Morning Snuggles Button Down Shacket in Bubble Gum. So if you're somebody who like that pop of color, um, you want to keep that color in your wardrobe for, for fall and winter, you are going to absolutely adore this. And if you're just a pink girl, you're going to love this as well. Um, I'll go over the details of the fit. Like I said, we did release it already in like the camel brown color. And Again, same details, like I said, different brand than the other jacket I just hand, had on, but very similar. Relaxed, loose fit, nice sleeve length. Um, this one is a super soft, like a fleece. You can kind of see that that texture to it. So this one is a fleece with that sweatshirt material on it as well that kind of lines. And then, of course, on the pockets, pockets are working. Fabric content on this is... 70% uh, polyester, 30% cotton. This one as well has cute little pockets. I don't think the other one did. I'll have to check, double check next time I put one on. But this one has front pockets on it, which is really nice. Um, so you have those little side areas. And then I threw this one on um, still with those same acid wash jeans with this fun top that I think this one released last week maybe I'm mean, like getting lost two on weeks, weeks and ago, days weeks because I haven't been able to post everything and because we've been so busy with everything else what was the name of this one black on black leopard pullover okay so this is the black on black leopard pullover I just love the black and the pink together I think it's a great way um that if you don't want to do something real in your face printed with it this is a cute combo so this is the black on black printed leopard pullover um and I love this because it's a little bit more like tunic length so it gives you full coverage this we wanted to show you that you can do a little bit of a thicker item this isn't quite a, like a heavyweight sweatshirt but it's a french terry material so like a lightweight sweatshirt but you can do this you can pair these uh shackets over a lot of different items and different weights and that kind of thing so relaxed fit on this one cute little slits in the sides true to size um and i love this one what i you just carry on with what you're doing i will make sure that it is read to you and you know what it says and josh before you go away i have something just for you Oh dear. Okay. So a uh, true to size here. So comfy and absolutely love it and love the little side slits on this one. So this one is called the black, black on black leopard pullover. leopard pullover. Um, true to size you guys on this. So comfy, super cute pair of jeans, pair it with leggings, whatever you want. And Christine's going to come out here and before Josh leaves, let me just, so let me read this comment. Rachel can't read all of the comments and stay, stay up with it. So this is what Josh just said. I'm out doing man stuff. About to go wrestle with a bear. Catch fish with fishing line I made from my beard. Knife hand chopped down a tree with my bare hands and cook a steak over a log fire pit. 
I wear underwear made of twine and leaves. Can't afford anything else because my wife wants a morning snuggles button in bubble gum. <laughs> so, Josh, when you're done with all of those chores, I have the thick high viscosity body wash just for you that's releasing tonight. So let me read to you what this is going to do for you. <laughs> it's gonna allow you to shower like a grown man. Per the bottle, I'm not making this up. Fact, teenage body washes are weak, watered down and smell like a freshman dorm room. Simply put, they don't get the job done. Hardworking men like you, Josh, require a shower of substance to accomplish a full day's work. That's why Duke Cannon's thick is formulated with noticeably higher viscosity and built to work effectively on your body, not spew down the shower drain. That woodsy, you're gonna need that after you hand chop down that tree, oak barrel scent is inspired by the rack houses at our favorite place in the world, the Buffalo Trace Distillery. So if any of you ladies out there have a man in your life that is just as manly as Joshua <laughs> and fishing with his bare hands and the, fishing line made out of his beard. You need this thick body wash <laughs> for him. Uh, bonuses state that there is no loofah required, so you can shower like a man. You don't have to worry about any of that. Never tested on animals, just the bad interns. So, Josh, you're allowed to leave now, now that you've heard about this. Um, go cut down a tree, shoot a deer, do whatever else you have to do. And Josh then- Josh have to get his own boutique account, I think. Yeah, that is true. Josh, you're going to need an account for the Broteek items. <laughs> Some of our other favorites came back in stock. I'm just going to do this while Rachel is changing. Um, the Miracle at 34. I don't like, I don't, okay. I don't like the name of this one. 34 Beards Street. Beard. That one is just tough for me. The Mir So we're going to call it the Miracle at 34th and Beard Street. Okay. <laughs> we're just going to rename it. Uh, the Tale of Taming an Unruly Beast. So fantastic kits. These sold out when we launched them two weeks ago, literally sold out that night. So if you need stocking stuffers, if you need gifts for the hard to buy for a man in your life, there is beard wash in here, a couple different beard oils. There are also the kits that have um, big American bourbon soap. And I'm telling you, all of them have funny sayings on it, just like that soap that I read to you right now. Um, I'll go over a few more as we go on, but I wanted to make sure that Josh saw that. Rachel is ready with a new outfit, and I'll see y'all in a little bit. I'll catch up on your comments, and we'll show you more bro items. Yeah, and those are just, they're a great gift for, like, Chrissy said, the man in your life, or I know people have been getting them for their son-in-laws, kind of those hard-to-buy guys, your brother. Like, they're just really fun, and really for all ages, as long as, you know, they're age-appropriate. Like You know, and none of them, their humor is... I don't even, it's, it's sarcastic humor. It's funny. I think everything that it says on there is clean, is clean. I don't know that everybody will get all of the humor, Yeah. <laughs> but, um, the question was, what are the prices on the kit? Depending on which one you pick, they range from 28 to $32. So really reasonable for beard oils. If any of you have seen pictures of my husband, you know he's we were trying guy. to get him to come out here, yeah, but he was being do the a items. turkey. Beard oils can be very expensive, so to get a kit that has everything in it, soap and things included, for thirty bucks is really reasonable. All right, my dad wants to do cannon. That's so yes, good to it's hear. good to hear. Your comments come okay. Out way. Um. All right. <laughs> this screams. I was actually thinking about Jessica when I was putting this on. Um, okay, this is the Forget About the Troubles blouse, available in sizes small through 3X. You guys, this is adorable. It was one of those that we kind of like chuckled when you see it on the hanger. And then when you put it on and you see this cute little tie in the waistband, we were like, oh my gosh, this is so stinking cute like the flowiness the print the mixed colors of the pinks and the magentas it is just absolutely adorable so um it has a front and button detail i will say you probably 
I mean, unless you like to show a little cleavage, you might want to wear a little cami or something with it or a bralette just so that way you have some coverage here. Maybe we do these live so that way you guys know the details. Um, but it is a working button front detail. It has these fun, large, billowy sleeves um, that like you can just see they're, they're nice and billowy, not heavy, um, re, 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 elastic <laughs> in the wrist here, but just baby fine. So it's not super snug, um, but it is going to keep it in place. So if you have a little bit of a shorter arm, it's just going to keep that so from billowing over your hand so it's not dragging in your food and that kind of thing. Um, it is a relaxed fit, but of course has the belt to tie. So you can see there's lots of room in here to allow for you to tie it as tight as you would like to show off as much of your waist or a curve as you want. Um, so plenty of room in this. I would say though, stay true to size. And why I would recommend not sizing down is for across the shoulder area. It, I can feel that it's fitted. It does doesn't feel too snug or small, but it's more fitted here than it is like in the body. It must be cut on some sort of an A-line to give you more room in throughout the body. But even here in the bust, you can see I have some extra room, but then up here throughout the shoulders is where I'm feeling that like, yep, I wouldn't size down in this because it feels nice and fitted up there. In a, not in a bad way again, but more fitted. It has the cutest little like peplum skirt on it when you have it tied. And then um, just the cutest little, I don't know how much you guys can see, but it almost has, um, it has this like thick, um, oh, what can I call it? It's just stitching here around the edge, but that makes it, I wish I could show you better. Um, but that gives it just this cute, like little ruffling detail. Maybe if I hold it up, you can see. So see how it has that cute little, like roughly edge on it. So you can actually see that when the shirt is laying because it's a little bit more structured. So rather than that laying like flat against your bum, it gives just this cute little ruffle detail there along the bottom without being an actual ruffle or pleated ruffle or something like that but it just has the cutest little edge and then it's a nice length so it's definitely not cropped length my belly button is up here um but it's a little bit shorter where it's not going to be tunic length but it's just such a great shape and cut and i absolutely am loving it and it's kind of an animal mixed animal print i feel like you have a little bit of leopard and then almost like a little bit of what's looking like a zebra kind of mixed in there so it's really fun top it is fully lined so there are two layers uh so you don't have to worry even though it's semi sheer it's you're not gonna be able to see through it because of the double layer throughout the body and this is hundred percent polyester so if you're wondering about material but plenty of room in the sleeve so you don't need to worry about it being too snug if you have a smaller or a larger arm um so i think that covers that oh and i have it paired with the judy blue destroyed black skinny jeans um true to judy blue sizing with great stretch no need to size up in these they are very comfortable and just a really great go-to with some nice distressing if i bend my knees you can kind of see it but some nice distressing and then a raw edge hemline on the bottom for a fun detail and I have on the swift boot with this one which is like a gunmetal black kind of combo um but they're a really great 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 boot these will come in only full sizes so I am in the nine I'm an eight and a half or a nine eight and a half is like my true size um and I do nine in a lot of closed toe shoes and the, so this one though because it's a little bit more narrow even if it came in an eight and a half I would need to do a nine in it so this is one that, especially if you're a half size, go up that extra, that half size. Do not size down in that. But they are fabulous and cute. Um, can you see the bottom of the jeans? I don't know if you'll be able to see. Maybe I can pull it up so you guys can see. So it's kind of a shark bite hemline. It's, they're kind of hard to show. Um, but they're kind of a shark bite hemline on there. And then with that raw uh, kind of frayed bottom on it. So they does have a little bit of distressing up them. Um, in the front that gives you that little bit of like the shark bite effect and then the frayed edge but they're a really great length too so if you're a tall girl um they are a nice length so hopefully that helps some but i think i'm going to change and christine's going to come on out here <laughs> i was just having a moment i was just having a struggle bus moment of getting this out of the package and on <laughs> <laughs> it's like it's my first day <gasps> Look at how fun this is. How can you beat hot pink and animal print all in one? Oh my goodness, I love it. And then the fact that it's got this sweet little belt so that you can give it that peplum effect. Adore! And the sleeve length is so good. So I am my true size in this one. I am in the 1X in this brand. That's the extra large. Um, I really wasn't listening to Rachel talk at all. Let me just be 
completely honest. <laughs> so I don't know if you mentioned sizing. I know we get a lot of questions about size flexing. Can I size down? So while there is room in the body and of course the little belt detail cinches it in, my shoulders are right on my shoulders. Did you say this? I said I could feel in my back that it was fitted. Yeah. And that I couldn't size down because yes. of that. Yes, it's so. not too tight. I'm very comfortable in my size, but definitely no size flexing in this one. Yeah, and if you're, a, I know. like exactly what I said. See, you know we're telling the truth when I don't even <laughs> listen to her and I say the same thing. But, I mean, how does it get any better than hot pink and animal print? So, stay true to size in this one. So fabulous. I love that you can cinch it in there at the waist and give yourself a cute little shape with it. I, pairing it with regular denim is not the best had I thought this through, I would have put black jeans on, but I didn't pull any for myself either. You know, we're just always running around like crazy people at the very last minute. So I didn't pull uh, black denim, so I wouldn't do it with regular jeans. Unless maybe really I had dark. a good booty on. Or if I had dark. dark denim or I had a dressier booty on versus the Florence high top, I just wasn't prepared. I just wanted to put this on for you, Cindy, and I just wasn't prepared. <laughs> Um, let me get you a comment. Mm, sorry, it's just just um, it was just reading. So, yeah. What does it look like without the belt? Kathy, I did show it without the belt. Um, let me see if I can just show you on the hanger. I know you won't see it on a body to see the exact lay of it. But without the belt... Oh, my, my arms are inside out so without the belt it has a like pleated body kind of which is I think how we get that extra room and it's not pleated it's more like well it is pleated up top but then these are kind of um ironed on pleats so it's not stitched but up here along the neckline you can see that there are those little pleats so without the belt it's just more of a boxy shape so it's intended to wear with the belt, so it doesn't have um, like a curved silhouette to it. It is more of a boxy shape, and with the little pleats, it's going to help it lay straight versus being A-line tunic style, but it will have room in it, but it is going to just be more of that boxy blouse fit. Um, then it's going, it's of course not going to have that peplum and there is no seam that runs across under the bust or at the waistline. So you aren't going to have that awkwardly be there without the belt covering it, but it is just going to be a straight cut. And I don't know, Christine, if you, if you think that described it well enough, or if you want to take your belt off. I mean, I can't show if it. That doesn't, if that did not satisfy the viewers. <laughs> I'll let you do your Okay. Thing. Well, if you want to um, pop that comment up, and then when I'm changing, again, if you want to show it, if oh, they need I to see I it did. without. Did I not? Yeah, the belt is detachable. Did you reply to that? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think so. Let me redrop this comment for you. Okay. Oh, sorry. That was not it. That wasn't it. Let me go back and find it. It's totally Yes. Far. That would be cute. Tucked in with a black pencil skirt. That's a cute idea. Something that sits a little higher waisted, and then you could do that little bit of a billowing at the top. Okay, comments. Sorry, just waiting for my comma. I know you guys don't want to just stare at me standing here. Um, okay, so next up, I'm in the I'm a Diva, a raglan top. This is available in sizes small through 2X. Um, to add a little sequin shimmer, I don't know if you go out on girl nights or date nights or have go to parties and do some fun stuff or just like to have a little bit of sequins and sparkle in your life, but this is absolutely adorable. This one has the leopard body on a um, knit material. It's kind of like a t-shirt material, but heavier weight. So I don't want to say it's t-shirt material, but that's kind of the feel of it. It's 96% polyester, 4% spandex. You can see that the body is slightly relaxed. I'm shown in the small, so it is a looser, relaxed fit. Personally, I would do a little front tuck with this one to give it a little bit um, of a shape and dress it up a little bit rather than having it out loose and flowy. Um, and then the sleeve has the sequin detail here all the way on the outer side, and you get a little bit of this um, printed material here on the inside. Though it's a 
relaxed sleeve balloon style sleeve with the cuff at the bottom. So again, it's going to keep that at your wrist, no matter the length of your arm. Um, and it's raglan style. So it has that little bit of the raglan look to it and the cut, but I am loving this with the black sequins. I just think that they're such a pretty little detail to a simple and comfy top. So this is a really easy one. Like you don't need to even overly accessorize. If you're somebody who doesn't do a lot of jewelry or that kind of thing, sequins kind of do it itself. I mean, you don't almost don't want to accessorize too much with something like this, or it's going to be like a wild factor. So this top is like an all in one, throw on some cute little earrings, like the dangles that we showed. And this would be a great uh, night out outfit or top with the black distressed jeans and it's just simple and comfy. So this one uh, is relaxed fit. If you're in between sizes, because of how relaxed the sleeves are and the stretch to the material, you can size down. So if you're sometimes a medium, sometimes a small, you can go with the small in this one. Definitely plenty of room um, to be able to flex in this. And we find that a lot with this specific brand that you can do a little bit of size flexing if you're in between sizes because of the relaxed body and the stretchy material. Um, but otherwise, to, if you're uh, not sure, it's always a good idea to stay safe you would be okay staying true to size in this one um, you should be fine the sleeves are not itchy so we've kind of talked about this before um, that there is there the sequins are not on the back side of the fabric at all where sometimes you feel the sequin is like at the seam where maybe there's a little sequin that because the sequins are sewn on before the material is cut so right here I can see like there's a little sequin you guys can probably see it kind of um, shimmer there if that happens and you're kind of feeling it, you can usually pull those out um, and you can get that out of that seam line where it would bother you. But typically because of how this these tops are made, you can't feel the sequin under the material. It's just along the seam line that every now and again you might feel one and those you can pull out because it's just where the sequin is cut and not fully attached. So you can get those out of there if um, you find that there is one that is kind of bothering you. But otherwise, I don't really feel them. They aren't itchy and they, I can't feel them throughout my arms or my sleeves. So, okay. I think that covers me and Christine. Are you, what are you doing? Oh, I'm just reading these comments. Oh, Jessica and Joshua are on fire tonight. <laughs> Somebody asked how, what shipping times are. And Jessica said fast, like Ricky Bobby orders come at you like a spider monkey. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like that needs to be a review. Could you please go review the website? <laughs> And put that on there. Yeah, leave a review on, like on our Facebook page. <laughs> Faster than Amazon. Shipping is amazing. Y'all are so sweet. Yeah, so oh, we try so here. hard to ship fast. Um, and I don't think it's any of any of you who watch us regularly, but every now and again, like it'll be 12 hours since somebody has placed an order and they'll be like, when is my order going to ship? It's it, it, a <laughs> dagger to the heart when we get the, when is my order going to ship? Yeah, it definitely a dagger to the heart when we get that because it's like, if you had any idea how hard <laughs> we work to ship as quick as possible and... What are the fights we get into about like, we have to ship! <laughs> we have to, yeah. We'll get in fights sometimes about what our responsibilities are and what the priority is. Because he's like, shipping is a priority. And I'm like, I know, but like everything else... <laughs> <laughs> and everything else is too. Um, These are the but sister yeah. fights that happen in the background. There aren't many of them. They don't happen frequently. <laughs> um, okay, so I did you pop my comment up? Just sent it your way. All right, you guys. Well, here is another cutie. This is I would did we call this a shacket? What did we call no, this? Just a oh, jean jacket, denim, denim jacket. Shacket. Shacket. Yes, because this is one of those that falls in that in betweener category. You can wear this as a shirt or you can wear it as a jacket. It totally depends. It's definitely more the weight of a jean jacket. Um, so it's not a lightweight, loose, flowy, button-down shirt, you know, kind of some, we get the, some of the vintage washed, really lightweight um, denim. So this is definitely more the weight of a jacket, but you could wear it all day long as a shirt. So um, again, really same details like we've talked about with jackets relaxed fit loose and roomy meant to be oversized um i love this one because it's more the cut of a shirt where you have that cute curved hemline 
of a shirt. Um, it's kind of what I would consider like a men's fit of a button down shirt. Um, but you can wear it either way. Now for me personally, I feel like sleeve length is a wee bit on the shorter side compared to some of the other ones. And sometimes with denim that is, although some of you girls, you like things to hit like at your wrist bone or even higher, or you have shorter arms than I do. Um, but I would throw a cuff in this. This is how I would style it. The sleeve length would not deter me from buying this fabulous denim that has this cute um, animal print overlay to it in the, it's kind of a charcoal -y black. Uh, that wouldn't matter to me because uh, I'm happy to throw my, my sleeves into a little cuff. That's always how I actually wear my denim jackets no matter the sleeve length. Anyways, um, and I would wear this shirt style. So I threw on just this cute little sparkly sequin tank to kind of dress it up a little bit, wear it more of like a girly or a girl's night out type style. I like that last top we were talking about. Um, and I really wanted to release this cami to you guys. So I was like, let's throw these together. But a cute combo. This could be paired with a ton of different things. Any color. You could do hot pink, pink, red, black, um, anything. Any color you wanted to pair with this because it's so neutral being denim. I have it paired with the black jeans I love blue jean with black jean. Um, and so yeah, love that one. And then let's go over this tank real quick for you guys. This is a really cute one to layer, especially throughout the holidays. Um, if you have any type of holiday party, you want to wear a little blazer or a jacket or heck, you could wear this alone once you're inside, you know, wear a shirt and then take, you know, wear a jacket and then just this cute little tank. So we previously had the same tank, which we might have a couple left in a silver, I believe. Was it silver or white silver? It was white, but kind of iridescent. So okay, white with a little bit iridescent. So this is the black colorway in it. It's just black on black. You have a cute little lace detail. So this really is more of like your cami style tank. Super cute, layered underneath lots of different things if you want to dress it up just a little bit. It has a racer back um, style to it. I've shown in the small, that's my true size length on this. I know black on black is a little bit hard to see. These run a little bit shorter. Um, not, again, not crop my belly button is up here bottom of the shirt is here so they run a little bit shorter not tunic length but really a great length if you want to wear them underneath a jean jacket or a blazer or something like that you don't have to worry about it hanging um out below it this is fully lined so you don't have to worry about it being see-through at all um fabric content on this is 100 polyester and again not itchy at all even like rubbing my arms on it it doesn't bother me doesn't bother under the arms or anything like that so true to size on this one is really the recommendation um there is a little bit of like give to the material. So even if you're a little bit chesty, you should be fine staying true to size. But this is such a great basic tank to have whenever you just want to have something to doll up. Like you can't go wrong having one of these in your closet um, or even the other colorway like we were talking about. Um, they're just really are a great piece that you can pair with lots of different stuff. And I think over years you could get lots and lots of use out of them. So super cute. Um... Are you coming out here? Oh, I am. Christina's going to come on out here. Trina, I will answer for you. So our full return policy is on the website. Anybody who's curious, you can go to our website, chopridgeclark.com, click the about, and then you can look and view the full return policy um, that has, of course, stipulations. But in general, it is that as long as something it comes back to us, tag still on, so um, tags attached, unworn, unwashed, then we'll take it as a return. There is, of course, a time frame and certain restrictions to certain items that all is spelled out on there. But just be sure to try things on with the tags attached. Um, if you need to, if you're questioning sizing or that kind of thing. Um, and yeah, so that kind of covers it. There is a return form that we ask that you fill out. I have had a lot of questions about people filling out the return form and not getting a response from us. Uh, the return form is really so that way we know what to expect, what's coming back, and we can watch for your packages. You'd be surprised at the surprise mail we get that has no names, no labels, no slip, no nothing in it. And so we're like, hmm, wonder who this sweater came from. And then we have to start going through like who ordered this sweater in this size and trying to figure out, oh wait, it looks like it was shipped from Illinois. So it must be this person and trying to do that. So the return form is really to help us. So that way, when your return comes here, we can easily get your shop credit issued. Oh, that's the other thing I didn't say. We take returns for shop credit only. Um, so we do not issue refunds, but there are a lot of things that you can purchase with shop credit. Even if you're, you know, there's a top that you love. There's the boutique stuff. There's jewelry, all kinds of stuff. So we're sure that you will find something you love. Um, but okay, Christine's going to go on. 
I she's gonna go on out there. Uh, Bethany, I will drop the exact link for the jeans that Rachel is wearing. But if you go to the website and type in Judy Black Destroy, it's like the fourth pair of jeans that pops up. All right, so let's talk about shacket sizing. I am in the 1X, which is my true size if I'm an extra large. I have a lot of room in this. I'm not very chesty. We've talked about this before. So for a really cute, comfy, oversized look... This is the 1X, which would be my true size. Personally, I would drop down one because I feel like I have a few more inches than I personally would want, but that's going to depend on if you're wearing it as a shirt or a jacket. I would wear this one more like a shirt, so that's why for me, it would be a large in it. But again, with it being a shacket, it's your call. If I were going to layer this with a cute ampersand hoodie, if I were going to put something thicker on and wear it with something thicker on a regular basis, then the 1X would be my choice. And again, oversized is totally in. Um, so there's nothing wrong with wearing it. And it is cute. I like it. My personal preference would be to wear it as a shirt and so for that reason I would drop down to the large so let me just show it to you I just have a basic black tank on under it but let me show you I don't know how to use buttons online there's always <laughs> something so if I were just gonna wear it open it's still oversized but it's cute I love it with those destroyed jeans on that Rachel had so jackets are gonna be a personal preference and a choice as to how you intend to wear them in a colder climate like we're here in Michigan with it's totally normal to wear a jacket in your true size over a hoodie with a long sleeve on, with a thermal, with cuddle dives, with 19 layers underneath <laughs> to stay warm in our negative 20 degree weather. So it's just going to vary based on where you are and how you want to wear it. I think I'm good. You coming out here? I don't even think that she knows that we're in the same room right now. <laughs> I was right lost now. in my thoughts. <laughs> lost in thoughts. This is fabulous. I think I'm going to need one of these. I, as soon as those came in, she said she was going to need oh, one of those. Yes. <laughs> oh, yes. Uh, oh, well, thank you, Trita, for your comment. We try to be real. And, um... I was just actually getting lost in thought of trying to think how to say, like, this is our recommendations. There is no guarantee because we don't have everybody's bodies here. So we do the best that we can without having all of you cookie cuttered here to put something on. So we do our best to size advise and give advice and that kind of thing. Um, but I need to put, what did I say? I was going to put a little disclaimer that, like, this is not a guarantee. <laughs> Right. Well, um, you can be an extra large with very different body measurements than I'm an extra large. I have broad shoulders, but I'm not chesty. You could have more narrow shoulders and bigger bust. And so things are going to hang different and fit different. And mm -hmm. it just depends on your measurements. Mm -hmm. so. That's right. <laughs> okay, carry on. Uh, yeah, I'm like in this, um, I just am stuck on that topic in my brain. And I need to move past it. I need to like move past it. Okay, <coughs> next up you guys is in the How About Those Ruffles Top in Boysenberry. And some of you might remember we released this in Emerald. Emerald. Thank you for remembering because I was going to be like forest green, green, mm -hmm. teal, something. Um, in Boysenberry. And gosh, this is so pretty. This is a magenta-like color. Um, it's called Boysenberry, as you can see. And it's so pretty. Uh, we do have, still have some of the Emerald available, but I love, love, love the fit of this. This is available in sizes small through 2X. It has that cute little kind of pepper one skirt on it that hits at your natural waistline um and what i love about this is well there's several things let me show you so it has this cute little sleeve here that just gives you a little bit of ruffle kind of hangs over your hand just a wee bit but it's again it's not gonna be dragging in food it's not that big but it just is a fun detail elastic here in the wrist so it gives you some um shape to it but it's nice and soft baby fine elastic so it's not real snug um relaxed fit in the arm this is a slightly ribbed sweater 
better knit material. So it has a little bit of like a ribbing texture to it. Lighter weight, so not super warm, depending on where you live, you'd be, you should be fine anywhere in this one. Um, and then, like I said, the little peplum skirt to it. I love, love, love the neckline on this. So it has um, this cute little V neckline and then kind of squares off here at the shoulder. Oh, I got bra straps in weird places because I just took that tank off. So it has just that cute same replicated back on it as the front. Um, and I do love this because you can wear regular bra straps with it. And then the other fun thing about this is that you can wear it off the shoulder. Of course, I have bra straps with it. So right now, so you can pull this one down and you can wear it off the shoulder. So it's like a two for one um, that you can wear it either way. Of course, I wouldn't wear it with a regular bra um, or you can wear it up a little bit higher. And because there's elastic here, it stays pretty nicely wherever you decide to position it at. So of course, like if you're going to start doing jumping jacks, it's going to move around. Um, but you can wear it in a couple different places, just depending on how you want to style it that day. Um, but I love the versatility of being able to do that. And it's, it doesn't feel like it's pulling way too tight or digging into my arm or going to slip up off my shoulders. And I am fairly broad shouldered. Um, so I think that it's going to be oh, just a good fit on a lot of different people, but I love, love the options of this one and that little detail. I love it just up in normal. I, I think it's the most comfortable because of wearing a regular bra, not dealing with the strapless and all that, but it is a really cute top. And again, like we said, this is the boysenberry and it is also available in emerald. Emerald. Okay. Christine's going to come on out here. I am. Oh, she's going to come out in the emerald. I, well, I decided if I was going to come out, smart. then I could show you the other color. This is fantastic. This is a stay true to size. So this is the emerald color. And I can't get enough. I know that I've talked about these details before. I love anything with a little baby fine elastic, anything. This is the smallest part on my body, guys. <laughs> Unless I go around one wrist. All right, maybe that's the smallest part of my body. One wrist. One wrist. But the smallest part for me is right below my bust line. So I love anything that has a good cinch in right at the bust line and then this cute little peplum that kicks out so i'm in my true size in this i'm in an extra large like rachel i have broad shoulders as well and i remember doing this last week let me last week two weeks ago let me just shimmy it down here this stays very nicely when i get it in adjusted into the right spot it stays off the shoulder very nicely again i think i did walk in just as she was saying unless you're doing jumping jacks <laughs> however if you're gonna size down it's gonna pop up do not size down in this one there's no reason to size down in it there's not room to size down in it but we have had discussions before about off the shoulder things Sometimes people want to know if they can size down and then what you run into is the fact that it won't sit off the shoulder because it wasn't made to go over. Like I couldn't put a large shirt on an extra large body and think that it's gonna spread far enough. <laughs> it's just not gonna work. So love that it stays in place. I don't, I can't think of anything more irritating than wearing a piece of clothing that you're constantly adjusting all day long because it doesn't lay right over the course of time. I'm a hand talker and you can see that even as my arms move, it stays where it's supposed to until I go way up up and then it'll pop right back into place. But adore the cut on this, adore both colors. They're so good. If you didn't get the emerald, snatch it up. If you got the emerald, get the boysenberry. This is just like that a day knit pullover that it's so versatile. We've joked before that like work appropriate, out to the bar. <laughs> you can get a lot of use out of this one and it just depends on how you want to wear it. So stay true to size in this. I'll see you guys in a little bit. Who says you're going back out there? Oh, okay. I'm not. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. Bye. Now they're going to ask to see you in everything. So they're going to be like, okay, I'll <laughs> All right. Just trying to decide real quick what little plaid bunny things I'm going to put on. Um, so, oh, let's see. 
just past your car. There it is. Okay, so new ampersand, you guys. Like we said, there's going to be a few of these scattered throughout the night. This is part of the ampersand holiday collection. This one is called, um, it's an ampersand avenue single hood sweatshirt called Under the Mistletoe. And it is fabulous. If you guys, um, you've probably heard us talk about these single hood sweatshirts before. I'm sure you've tried one, seen one, that kind of thing. Let me go over the details. If you have not, um, sizing on these is very consistent on the single hood sweatshirts. 100% of the time so far, our material has been the same on these, the same fit, same stretch, same cut. That is a great thing to know about all of these single hood sweatshirts from Ampersand. Um, so I'm sh shown in the small, again, straighter cut sweatshirt. Um, so it has that straighter, more fitted fit, but this is considered what Ampersand calls triple stretch. But let me show you. So it has stretch to it, triple stretch, meaning it stretches in all directions. So, so lots of stretch to it. However, this particular one or all of the single hood sweatshirts are fleece lined. So they have a thicker material to them than some of the triple stretches in the cowl neck um, and that kind of thing that are not fleece lined. Um, I'm again, like I said, shown in the small in this one. If you are hippie, we find a lot of people like to size up one in these, sometimes even two. So again, I'm a small and a 6'8". If I wanted to size up one, that would be the medium. Um, if you really like an oversized sweatshirt, you could size up two. Um, but I really love true to size in this. I would stay in my true size um, because I really like the fit of it. I like that it's more fitted. But again, those hippie girls, Christine sizes up in these. She can do the 2X or the 3X. Hippie. <laughs> I didn't. I said hippie girls. Did I say like Christine? <laughs> She's not hippie. I take that back. Um, hippie girls, or if you are shaped like Christine. <laughs> Jeez, what should I say? I'm not trying. I'm not being. You have hips. That's not a bad thing. Not a bad thing. Some people like to size up one to two in them. So it gives you because that then you have more room in the hips and it's not super snug and fitted in that area. So this one is really cool. It has the red up top, um, the buffalo plaid here in the mid section, and then the black on the bottom. This one has welt pockets on the sides. So not a kangaroo pocket. Your hands don't touch. Just the two pockets on the side. And then no um, thumb holes on the single hood sweatshirt. So it just has your classic kind of cuff here. And then it is cuffed at the bottom. Again, you can see cute little leather patch on that one and then here on the sleeve as well and these single hood sweatshirts are more of um like a turtleneck style fit so there is more material in this area we like to point this out um because there are people who don't like turtlenecks or don't like material around their neck however i absolutely love it it's not snug you can see i have room in here but there is more fabric these two you can kind of like stretch them and move them so that they fit a little looser maybe up front um so it isn't hugging your neck so much or sitting so high. So it's a really comfortable fit in my opinion. I love them. I, I think they're so stylish and they're definitely a step or two or three above like a regular hoodie. They're so great. So stinking cute on this one. Same fit as all of the other single hoods that we've ever had. New earrings releasing today. Uh, we have had some similar to this, but these are considered the 2D where they are layered. So it has a little tree on the buffalo plaid. Itty bitty size, so an inch and a half. Um, in the length of this one, and it's the black and red buffalo plaid. And then I also was going to show you guys um, that we have some new single studs that are releasing today in the buffalo plaid. These are the smaller size, which we get lots of requests for the smaller size. These are eight millimeter, and these are the 12 millimeter in the buffalo plaid. So um, they're a nice size either way. These are good size for little girls um, too, but the red and black buffalo plaid, and these also come in white and black buffalo plaid. So you guys all feeling bad for Christine? That I was yeah, mean to her. Can you step back in with your nine? <laughs> I'm sorry, hips, Christine. Show where the sweatshirt ends. It's tough to tell. Oh, on the black. Back. Yeah. The so sweatshirt just... ends right here. <laughs> is that just what you so mean? That, yes. There was just a question to see like how, how long. I know black on black yeah. is hard to see. We will show another single hood sweatshirt tonight um, where I won't be in black on black. So you'll be able to see it a little bit better. But yeah, I always know whenever that black on black, it's hard to decipher. But it hits, so like bum wise, 
Um, it's, you know, it's not full coverage. It's like a covers about three quarters of my butt. And that is me wearing it down. Some people wear these where they're more bunched up and they have more sweatshirt kind of gathered and the waistband is more around the hips. I like them long line because that's, I, you know, they're a long sweatshirt, but some people wear them up here where they actually are kind of ending at your pocket and then they have more material kind of gathered here in the midsection. So it, that's a personal preference too, how you want to style it, but I like them nice and long and elongating um, figure. So, okay. Nice and long. Nice and long. Hippie girls go up one. Knock it off. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm never going to refer to you as hippie again, even though you say it all the time. I'm allowed to talk about myself that way. <laughs> it's like, like Jake will refer to himself as like, that he has the lazy gene, but if I ever say it. Right, yeah, well, you can't, don't insult me. Yeah, don't the other day I lazy. said something about him, and he was a hard worker, and he takes care of the kids a lot and does stuff, but. I said something and he was like, whoa, I'm a hard worker. And I was like, I know you are. But like in the next breath, he'll be like, I'm so lazy. <laughs> I, I should, where's Lynn? I, Christine should have been talking about herself in the third person all night. <laughs> Christine is not hippie. Oh my God. I don't know if you guys saw, Christine commented on a post earlier. So this is what's goofy, is that we both, like we can respond to posts and sometimes it'll show up as one of us. And then sometimes it'll show up as like the business page responding, which could be either one of us actually. Um, but it, so she thinks it's the business page, so she'll refer like it, she'll reply like it's me. And so today she said to somebody, they said, what side did Christine like in this? And she commented back as herself and said, Christine likes the one X. Yeah, and it came through from my Facebook, not the business yeah, page. So, so it looks, it looks like I'm just talking in the third person all the time. <laughs> so she was gonna talk in the third person all night, but yes, she failed on I failed on that. I can't I can't even talking in the third person. Oh my goodness. <laughs> okay. I cannot do it. Ian bought brought you those gold earrings. Oh too, awesome. The table. Thank you. Not that they match what you're putting on, but they're there. That's okay. Thank you. <laughs> I'm glad he found them. He yes. said he thought you put them back in drawers already. Um, I didn't do the gold yet. Oh. Well, we had to go on a hunt, so. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, well, next up is a magic sweater. Magic sweater. You guys might remember the magic sweater. We've had in a couple other colors. And now we have it in this fabulous classic Heather Gray and Ivory Stripe. Um, and if you guys haven't seen the, the magic sweater before, you will see it now and we will talk about it. So this is like a lot of things we're seeing with jackets and all of that. Oversized is in. So wearing those big, comfy, oversized cardigans and jackets and jackets and all that is really in right now. And um, this is almost like, I think we've talked about it being like kind of like a varsity sweater. Like you're wearing nice. a, like your boyfriend's sweater and it's comfy and cozy and cute. So um, this is available in sizes small through 3X. The actual name of it is not the magic sweater. That's just what we call it. This is called All Things Are True Cardigan in gray. And like I said, available in sizes small through 3X. Um, I'm shown in the small and it is a roomy, comfy, great fit. And um, Christine... <laughs> What? what are you going to say? I don't really know when anymore. It around my hips? <laughs> <laughs> um, we found that this sweater is very size flexible. Uh, where even if, let's say a small sold, small sold out and I wanted to do a medium, it's not going to fit me any differently. <laughs> We're finding that like they're super um, similar in sizing, no matter your size. The one thing that is going to to adjust if you size down, if you opt to size down and this is, you're going to lose some length because you're going to end up filling it out a little bit more with your hips. Um, <laughs> it's going to fill out a little bit more just with larger busts and that kind of thing. So you're going to lose some length on it if you size down. And then of course you're going to lose some of the fullness in the body if you size down. But really we found that size flexing is very much possible on this. Um, Christine, are you going to put this on? I, I didn't, did you need me to? No, you don't have to. So <laughs> anyways, will. stay true to size or feel free if you are an extra large and you want to be a small today, order the small because you can absolutely do whatever size you'd like um, in this one because it is roomy. Have I put on the um, extra large in this? 
I don't know if you ever did. I don't know if I, I did. did um, but what's time. nice too is the sleeves are nice and long. So if they're a little bit long on you, you can put a little cuff in them and it's really cute that way as well. Fabric content on this is 100% acrylic, though it is nice and comfy. Um, and it's just fabulous. I really love this sweater. I know, that one's cute. It is really cute. It's also available in taupe and... Taupe and oatmeal. Oh, and oatmeal and cream. And oatmeal. Taupe and black. Taupe and then and oatmeal black. and cream. Yeah, whatever. Yeah. <laughs> So they're super all cute. in the same wheelhouse. They're all, <laughs> they're all fabulous and really comfy. I have this layered over the readily ruffled um, top in white. These are a really cute layer. We've talked about them multiple times because they have that little ruffle sleeve. Um, some of us, I think, worry like, is it going to be bulky under there? Are you going to see it? And really not because it's a nice lightweight material, so it kind of gets hidden. So it just looks like a basic tee. But then when you want to take your cardigan off, you have that cute top. Uh, this comes in a variety of colors. I think like six colors. Maybe. Maybe. So a lot of options in this one for colors to pair with different things. They are slightly relaxed fit. True to size, though, is the recommendation on them. Um, so that way it is a nice relaxed fit as intended. And fabric content on this tee is 60% cotton, 35 polyester, 5% spandex. I have this combo oh, with my zipper down um, <laughs> paired with the Judy Blue Bleach Splash Boyfriends in the black. Or do we call these gray? They're black. Black. Yes. Um, colorway. So if you guys have had the bleach splatter jeans, the boyfriends, you need, and you don't have the gray or the, I'm sorry, the black yet, you must get them because they are fabulous. They fit just like the other bleach splatter boyfriends, true to size or size down one. A lot of people size down one in their boyfriend jeans, and this one you can too. They're cute cuffed, or if you want to leave them uncuffed, um, it gives a little bit more length to them and is good for winter time if you're trying to cover up your ankles. So these are just fabulous jeans. Again, like I said, I'm a seven in Judy Blues. I am shown in my true size, um, but there is enough room that if you like to size down when you can, I like my boyfriend jeans to fit like a boyfriend jean. Slightly relaxed in the leg, a little bit of extra room just throughout because they're meant to be roomy. Uh, but if you want a more fitted look, you can size down one to achieve that uh, because there's such nice stretch in this and just natural roominess. So I think that covers it. Christine, pick any size you want. <laughs> It is true though, they they really are so size flexible. Yes, I mean I think of the original when I put the extra large on and the small, and yes. I think there is maybe like two inches in length difference, and then three or four in width. You could almost barely barely tell that there was a difference. But when I really tried them on side by side, and even in pictures, you can so. That's why we call it the magic sweater. It's so size flexible. Yeah, and I think too, um, you know, one thing about some of those really roomy fit is like I said, I could easily do a medium in it and not notice much difference because there isn't that much of a difference. So same goes for some of those like oversized tunics um, that they might actually only be like an inch different in the body, but because there's such a naturally relaxed fit, it's not gonna make that big of a size difference when you flex one size. So that's why if you're really on the fence, you don't know what size to do, staying safe, um, you know, is staying true to size because it's going down one size doesn't make that huge of a difference when it's already such a relaxed fit. Okay. Yes, yeah, sisterhood of the traveling sweater. <laughs> Seriously, they fit everybody, okay to get situated okay so this was the um waffle knit shacket that we started started in no didn't start it but that christine um came out and she gave you the sneak peek of this color and i was in the burgundy which was like the mulberry tone i have to get i have to get situated because this is so stretchy you could like wear it in totally the wrong place and not even realize it when you're putting it on but it's just so stretchy and comfortable so if you guys missed this we'll cover details on this one um real quick too i of course paired it with it threw in a few um christmas christmas things because it's not christmas yet but we can still show off some of these christmas goodies um so this is the waffle knit jacket called 
Living in a dream. Living in a dream. Available in sizes small through 3X. Um, and this one is 95% cotton, 5% spandex. This is pre-washed. So something to keep in mind with that fabric content. Anything that tends to be bleached or acid washed is pre-washed, um, considered pre-shrunk. So true to size on this. Same details that we kind of have been talking about all night with jackets. Uh, relaxed fit. They're meant to be roomy. Um, you can size down if you want it to be more fitted. Uh, but I really am liking true to size on all of these for the intended relaxed fit. So this color is the stone. Like I said, I started in that mulberry or I showed the burgundy. It's not, I'm going to keep calling it mulberry. Uh, but this one is, is the stone. Burgundy. That is, the other was technically burgundy. But I really love, love, love these for that relaxed, comfy, cozy fit. It's so soft. The waffle knit is a nice knit. Um, and again, like we were talking about, not too heavy that if you live somewhere warm, you can't get away with wearing this as a little jacket instead of a shirt. Um, or if you live somewhere cool, you can wear it as a, as a shirt all day long. So that one, and then I'm just going to give you guys a little peek at the other color. I guess I could throw it on real quick. Um, it also comes in charcoal in this one. So we have the three colors, the stone, the charcoal, and the uh, burgundy slash mulberry. But they're so stretchy and so soft and so comfy and that acid wash is just super cool. So charcoal, I think again, this one was kind of black and then when they acid washed it, it turned into this pretty charcoal. Um, but stretchy material, super comfortable, nice and soft um, and just so cozy. So loving these. I think that covers it. I think that covers I it. I love anything? that charcoal. I, I know. love the little bit of black, the little bit of gray. Yeah, that, that vintage look to it is just fun. <sighs> yeah, that was a pretty heavy sigh over there. I'm just thinking about how I'm going to get you to forgive me for saying you're hippie. I don't know. I was going to take some work. <laughs> I don't know. I'm not sure. You might have to shift all day tomorrow. <laughs> I think this is the same as our our buttery soft legging. Shop, no, shopping is our. Who's gotten out there? Shopping is my favorite season shirt yet. Oh man, I haven't even gotten. I know. That yet. Um, but this Mary T is the same. If you guys have uh, the shopping is my favorite season shirt from last year, you know that red shirt that we sent you. Um, I think this is that same brushed material that was so soft oh, and I've had other people yeah. asking me do we have anything in that and I'm like no we really haven't had anything come in that like t-shirts the t-shirt companies are having such a hard time getting blank tees I think ever since COVID and then there's issues with shipping from overseas but I think this is one of them it's very soft um so anyways it's a really soft tee it's a next level tee and it is just soft and comfy um so I am in the just a glimpse button down oh god look at you girls wore your shirts today good for you I need to get mine out um Jake's worn his all year round. <laughs> um, okay, so let's see. I'm in the Just a Glimpse button down in Olive. You might remember we released this, I think, last week in a brown colorway. Yes. Last week or the week before. I'm that might have been with Thanksgiving. Who knows when we released it? But these are a fabulous button down. We were talking when they first when the other colorway released about how fabulous of a fit it is. So this is not a jacket, this is a button down. Um, it's a classic flannel material, classic flannel weight, so a little bit lighter weight than the shackets. Um, but it is just the most comfortable fit. Nice fit in the sleeve, not too tight, not too big. Um, and again, just a nice fit throughout the body. So it is a little bit more of a straight cut. So it's not a women's fit throughout the body, I wouldn't say, but you do have that nice fit in the sleeve, which doesn't make it look like a man's shirt because it's not a real big sleeve here, like a men's shirt would be so it is a nice fit throughout the arm and then like I said a little bit more relaxed in the midsection I think a lot of the time if you're conscious about women's cut shirts you steer away from button downs because they can end up being real fitted kind of in awkward places because the material doesn't tend to have a lot of stretch to it but this one is such a great cut that it really gives like the it's got the best of all areas relaxed fit here nice fit throughout the arms and in the shoulders and I love the colors in this so this actually has kind of a burgundy in it this pretty um light tan and then this is more of a charcoal here what color did we say this one was? 
olive. Yeah, uh, olive. Yeah, that is called the olive one. In my eyes see no olive. <laughs> but yeah, I don't I don't see olive. Maybe this is I think it looks charcoal, but maybe to some uh, some eyes it looks more olive. But um so I absolutely love the colors though, the burgundies, the grays, the taupes, the whites. So just a really pretty color mix to it. And then I have this one paired over the Mary graphic tee or Mary and Joyful graphic tee, like I started talking about. It's available in sizes small through 3X. Um, and it's such a soft tee, unisex fit, but runs true to size. Um, so the unisex fit are nice. Again, the fear of like women's cut tees is that they'll run so slim. So this is just a nice fit with a slightly relaxed um, body. Christine's going to come out in that button down so you guys can see it on her. Um, but I would say stay true to size in those button downs because they're just, a, they're a really great fit staying true to size. I love everything about it. So this is that Merry and Joyful tee. I love the mix of colors. You can pair it with a lot of different things, mix it up some, um, and just a really great holiday shirt without being like in your face, Christmas tree, Santa, that kind of thing, if you're like a little bit more basic. Um, so, uh, looks navy to you. It's not, it's not navy, but you know, the colors sometimes don't. Oh, you know, this looks olive when you're not on camera. It definitely reads more olive over here. I see charcoal still. You know what? This is going to be like that dress. Like, who sees blue and gray? <laughs> yeah. And who sees I don't know. White? I just don't see olive. Like, I see the olive when I'm off camera. Up there, I see charcoal. But back here, I see olive. Weird. It's really just going to be however you see it okay so but fun if you fact. don't do greens don't be turned off by this because that's one thing is that yeah. like, some people just don't do green color well i mean right? look so okay this is what i'm super excited about like rachel said this is a button down this is not a jacket i have it again over my lightweight ampersand sweater super comfy fit so roomy enough that you can layer it over something lightweight whether it's a graphic tee or even this cute little sweater that everybody um has been obsessing over there's another new one tonight don't tell her i told you <laughs> that's how i get back for calling me hippie <sighs> but i'm in my true size i am in Sorry. in this brand i'm in the one x so here's she needs to plug her ears because i'm hippie <laughs> it's a little fitted right through here again i've got it over a lightweight sweater it is not so fitted that i don't have room in here my buttons aren't popping so that's a bonus if i wore it over just my tank top or just a t-shirt i would have a little bit more room in it but this is so comfy and i love here's a good example of it really is like rachel said don't let the olive colorway turn you off here it is right next to black i mean it definitely reads more charcoal but when i'm not in front of this light i suppose i could see where somebody would get the olive idea from. It just, I think it's just gonna depend what color you're under, but I think you can pull in the grays, you can pull in blacks, and it would be really cute. So stay true to size in this. I'm in the 1X, which is in this brand, the extra large. Absolutely love it. While she is still changing, how do we feel about some more Brotique? Let's do some more Brotique. So, oh, you guys, this is another new one. This one is hilarious. This is soap on a rope. So it is a tactical scrubber bundle pack, fully machine washable, fast drying. Fun fact about this brand, veteran made. So um, this is the big ass brick of soap and never tested on animals, just bad interns. I mean, they just have the funniest little saying. So you get their really good soap and then you get the little mesh pocket that they can wash it. This is probably on the other one where it said no loofah needed. You get the soap on a rope and they don't need a loofah, but it sudses up inside of that uh, mesh pocket. This one's funny. So this is the big ass brick of soap which smells like productivity. <laughs> For the early rising man who leads a life of productivity, Duke Cannon created a soap with a hint of menthol to cool the skin and wake him up so he can get things done. Productivity wins the day. These are fantastic gifts. Stocking stuffers. I mean, I know we keep saying it, but they're hilarious. All of them are hilarious. Back by popular demand because these sold out overnight is the bush 
soap. Um, where did it say, this is my favorite. Let me read this to you while she's still changing. Duke Cannon's idea of charcuterie is a plate of beef sticks with a bowl of ranch flavored tortilla chips and then washing it down with a cold crisp bush beer and then washing that bush beer down with a refreshing shower that includes bush beer. <laughs> you see, we added a hint of bush beer to this sandalwood soap so you can smell as clean and bright as the mountain air. Head for the mountains of bush beer soap. Super cute, super funny. It'll be a good talking point. Really great price point to drop in stockings. I might just wrap you it up and give it to Ian. Like oh yeah, give I it thought. to. Like if there's a male coworker you have, a male teacher. Yeah, some of your kids' teachers. That is true. They're not, they're not inappropriate. Maybe not the bush one for a teacher. What are the? Yeah, maybe not the bush. I, well, your kids go to parochial school, so definitely not the bush <laughs> beer soap for her parochial school going children. Uh, so cannon balm. An offensively large sunscreen lip balm. I love that they call it offensively large. Um, broad spectrum SPF 15 tactical sunscreen. So these are cute little drop in as well. Break in case of emergency. That's what the seal says on the lip balm. So these come in a couple different ways. There is the hydrate defend one and then Oh, they both say hydrate defend. How do you know what the scent is? The scent or the flavor? Help me. Yeah, how do you know? One's green, one's black and orange. I guess that's all you need to know. It doesn't say. It's manly, it I'm sure. It doesn't say. It's manly. I'm, yeah, I'm sure that they're all going to be very manly. We'll pretend that they taste like bush beer. I think it says on the website what the scent or the which flavor one is of which? them is. Um, and this one is 140 degree, so it doesn't melt. So if you have, like, it doesn't melt to up to 140 degrees. So, like, if you have um, a man that works outside, does construction, things that, you know, they're keeping it in their pant pocket. And, like, your husband, my, my husband's lip balm melts. The boys put them in the dryer. <laughs> you know, um, yeah, really but anyway, so that's a nice thing that they like if they're in a pocket, they're not going to be melting and they're just not girly. I mean, Burt's Bees is great and stuff, but it's definitely right. a little more girly. Okay. Next up, you guys, another one of the Ampersand Avenue Double Hood Sweatshirts. This is, again, part of the Christmas collection. Um, this fabulous double hood sweatshirt here, triple stretch. All of these are triple stretch today. So I'm shown in the small. You can see I've got extra roominess here, lots of stretch. Um, two welt pockets on this one, so your side pockets on the front. Um, a good stretch throughout the hips and all that jazz. So this would be a stay true to size one on this great uh, Heather gray and it almost feels like the performance fleece maybe not quite as soft as that but it has a really nice feel to it cute buffalo plaid thumb hole details buffalo plaid uh, for your double hood detail and then of course the cute mousse on the front in the buffalo plaid this is um, material that is then stitched on embroidered on embroidered I always struggle with this. Applique. Applique <laughs> on. Um, so it is stitched around. You don't have to worry about that coming out and it's not printed either. So no stretch throughout the mousse, um, but that doesn't have really affect the fit. There's plenty of stretch throughout all over in the rest of the body that that's not going to restrict it at all. Cute little patch as well on the arm on this one. Um, a patch on the bottom. And I'm like, is there another patch on the hood on yes, this one? Yes, there is one on the outside gray hood. The There's the little, do you want to help with that or do you want to stretch? Struggle. I like to struggle. Okay. So another Struggling. little patch there. So the three little patches on this one. Um, side zip. People will always ask, does the zipper work? It works, but it leads to nowhere. <laughs> um, so it's just a cute detail on these sweatshirts. It doesn't open up or anything. Uh, the side or the, the ties in the front ties the drawstrings in the front are off to the side um, that is intentional that it sits over on to the right kind of towards or that right right yes right towards the zipper and backwards so I just want to make sure I'm like saying it right so um but yeah super cute triple stretch true to size you guys in these love it paired with the um plaid along shoe here in the black and 
the black and red. I think that these are actually cute with every single one of the holiday ampersands releasing. Um, and then I did throw on these earrings so you guys could see the buffalo plaid and I want to show you sizing. So if you're new to our earrings to give you an idea, we have tons of earring options in the studs. This one is the eight millimeter for, so for size wise, so you can see. And then this one is the 12 millimeter and I didn't put the regular my regular backs on them and my ear ear holes are all stretched out. Um, so this one is the 12 millimeter. So definitely a size difference in those, but so that way you guys can kind of see what the difference is. And then I don't, where are my regular, where are my other earring bags? I do not know. I normally have them up here and I I put them where away. I think I, I think I was wearing my, oh, oh here. Um, so normally I, they come with the little rubber backs on them. Um, I switch and I put these larger backs on because let me show you what they do. So see how it kind of dangles here? That is because I have like stretched out my earlobe so badly from wearing heavy earrings in the past. So... I use these larger ones, which we sell these in a 20 pack. Um, and let me show you the difference of when I have like this earring back on, how nicely then it sits on my ear. So you can see that it sits nice and flush to my earlobe instead of dangling, hanging forward. And that is all because I have stretched out and torn my ear piercing to the point that, um, you know, that earring just can't sit flat in there. We sell those little backs, these extra backs you can buy in a 20 pack for two bucks on the site. So make sure to add them on if you feel like that's an issue. I think a lot of people experience that and don't really know how to fix it, but these backs make all the difference um, with having that earring sit nicely on your ear. Because I know some people have said like, oh, I've torn my ear holes, I can't wear earrings anymore. And not fully torn them, but just enough that your ears dangle weird, or your earring, your ears dangle weird, not your ears. But see how like I've, see how I've ruined my ears? I know a lot of people have done that because we weren't wise when we were younger. Um, so, I don't have that problem. I, I might know, have Christine. big hips, but my ears aren't torn. <laughs> <laughs> Christine doesn't have that problem, problem, and I know some of you don't either. I can't generalize. I can get away with just doing the natural little rubber back that comes with yes. the earrings, but I know a lot of people have, for years, worn very, very heavy earrings that have stretched out their earlobes. Can I... Can I just see this for a minute? I just want to show this. So Rachel has shown me these two different pair of buffalo plaid shoes. Um, both really cute, a little bit different. So this one is a Velcro closure. So if you're looking for buffalo shoes to buffalo plaid shoes to match any of the ampersands from tonight, or gosh, any of the buffalo plaid that's already in the boutique in general, and maybe you go to one and you, they are were sold out in your size. Wow, that was really tough. We're sold out in your size. There is the other option. So this is just a slip-on sneaker. Um, little bit of elastic insert there. So no ties, but it's got the cute eyelets up and down it. This one is called the mix. This one is called the plaid along. So if you need an eight and a half and we maybe don't have any eight and a halves in one, go check the other one out if you're searching for that buffalo plaid both adorable but i know yeah, she had know both of them on oh yeah so also then these options if you're not a real sneaker if you don't well and if you don't want all buffalo plaid we've got the kimmy which is a cute little high top this is another um slip on it's got a little inside zipper here with just that hint of buffalo plaid on the back and then the cute little laces on it these are all stay true to size no size flexing necessary and then the granola if you want something a little more <laughs> hippie <laughs> oh my gosh oh you're so funny i'm so you funny <laughs> Then there's always the granola if you just want a comfy slide. Are you talking about the, how stiff are the heels on this one? I mean, it's, so there's definitely a form in there up to about where the ties end and then that part's flexible, but it will definitely keep its shape back there if that's what you're asking about. If you're asking about the heel on that, yeah, and I mean, the rest of the shoe tennis shoes are all flexible. Like, this this softens up a little bit as you wear them, um, not to the point that it's gonna like cave, fall, in, cave in, but it does like soften up because I know like even with the zipper area, yeah, I mean, it both softens. Of these 
definitely you've got flex room in there so you don't have to worry about them being so stiff that you're gonna get blisters on the back of your heels but lots of buffalo plaid shoe options are the granolas true size I'm sorry, I have a hair in my mouth. You went up your half size in that, didn't you? The granola. In the granola? Yes. So Rachel because is an eight and a half end. or a nine, and she went with her larger size. She went with the nine. So if you seem to size flex, go with your larger a lot of, of the two sizes. Have gone up that half size and been happy they did. On the regular sneakers, yeah. I mean, it's going to hold its shape, but oh. it's not so stiff that you're going to get blisters on the back of your heel. But it definitely won't. I mean, there's just some flexing there. Let me see if I can show you up closer. See where this seam is? There's a form inside of here, and then the top part is just fabric. So you can see the difference, but I think it's going to keep its shape without rubbing awkwardly and giving you a blister. So... I hope that clarified it. Clear as mud, right? Clear as mud. Clear as mud. All right. Um, well, a little earring update. These were restocked today. These sold like crazy. They are a lightweight. Oh, dear. I'm drawing a blank. Vintage what kind of wood. Walnut. Um, wood. So super lightweight wood. So, again, you can even see with my stretched out ear holes, it's not pulling my ear down. Not Tiffany um, Shum said you have hippie lobes. <laughs> Um, but it's not like real heavy. So these are really lightweight being that walnut. And then it has kind of a camel mustard uh, leather insert in there. So that it doesn't like stick out at all. It's inset into the wood. So super cute. Um, these we had previously had, but they sold out. So love these for a cute dangle earring. And then we also restocked today um, the metallic red one. So that one has a little bit of metallic and it's a really cute one for holidays or anytime really you could wear these year round um but they are just cute so restock of both of those those will be in the new this week category so you guys can find them easily um and then back to this fabulous jacket that you guys previously saw today in the bubble gum this one is the morning snuggles button down jacket in olive so same details same fit um as the bubble gum and the previously released camel color i can't remember what color that one was named yes, that one was camel okay so this is 70 percent polyester 30 percent percent cotton fleece feel to the material I'll get close so you can see that texture so it is like a real fleecy fabric with the sweatshirt material for the cuffs and um, the detailing around the buttons and the pockets and this one has those front pockets in it as well so it just gives you those extra snack holes so you can pack lots of snacks in this jacket yes. snacks here snacks here snacks everywhere um, and again true to size for the relaxed roomy fit uh, size down if you want it to be more fitted uh, but if you want the option of layering over a sweatshirt a sweater um, something thick or you just want the relaxed intended oversized fit that is in right now stay true to size um, but it is just so pretty love the color and then I have it paired here with the oh, this is the vineyard day caged neckline tee in mustard. Now we actually previously released these in, I think a red and a green. Don't quote me on and what black. the name and black. So today we are releasing this pretty mustard, which is a really great, these make such a nice layer because they have that cute caged neckline, but then you can layer it. So you just have that little bit of a detail, but it's still a tee and not a tank. Um, so we're releasing it today in the mustard and then also in beige. beige. So this one is not white definitely more dark cream and then in the blue blue <laughs> that one did not have a fancy blue unit. this one is like a blue real like blue. a denim blue is what i would call it it's of course darker than the Oh, no, it's one. No, it's denim. Yeah, it's denim blue. Um, so the mustard, denim, and beige. So these are really cute. I will take this jacket off so you guys can see it without. So those three colors are releasing. We do still have a few of the black, the red, and the green left. Uh, all the same thing. So if you're looking for these same items that we're saying we have, just search that name, um, and then you can find all of the colors available in it. So shack it again, true to size, size down if you want it to be more fitted. So here is that cute Vineyard Day um, cage neckline tee. Uh, so it is just a classic back on this one. So no details cage neckline there. Relaxed fit in the body. So you can see that I have lots of room here. This was one Christine could do the large or the extra large and didn't really notice much of a difference. Honestly, it was like maybe a little bit different in length. 
So I think that was about the only thing. Uh, if you want a little bit more length, do not size down. If you want it to be a wee bit more fitted, a tad bit shorter, because these do run long, um, then you could go down a size. But otherwise, stay true to size. Plenty of room in the sleeve uh, for sizing down if you opt to. But I really love this just as is. Um, and you can see here, like where my bra kind of hits. I guess like where is my bra most naturally placed? It's so hard when I'm in and out of clothes. So this is where my bra naturally hits. You can see just a wee bit of that, the nude bra in there. Um, it wouldn't bother me to show that little bit. If it cut way in here, I probably wouldn't prefer it, but you just see a tad bit on the corner. So you can get away with wearing a regular bra, even if you wanted to wear this top alone. I really love it as a layering piece, but it's really cute if you did need to take off your layer, you got too warm. This is a really great um, top. And like I said, we've had some cute neckline tanks but you're not always comfortable in a tank or you want the option to be able to remove a layer so this is gives you a cute neckline to be able to do that so um i think that covers that it's even cute with the bralette we were talking about that because my bra strap seemed to go a little bit farther in on my shoulders than yours okay. do i think it probably just depends which bra i'm wearing though and which style so even if you want to wear a cute little contrasting bralette and have a couple of those spaghetti straps poking through there, that's a cute, fun option as well Yeah, that you and can I think, easily get um, away with. And I think, too, that a lot of the time, you know, I only really, I have a couple, like black or leopard. Remember the one day I wore a leopard printed bra, I think, on here live. on the live? Yeah. And I was like, dang it! Yeah. I never do that. Like, I, because I wear new bras like 99% of the time um just because I like that I don't really have to worry about them showing they don't show under white they don't show under black they don't show like any of you know like any other prints and colors so I guess I'm kind of boring when it comes to that but <laughs> <laughs> boring in the bra section but I don't know it's just easy it's easy okay it is. easy isn't oh, these aren't easy <laughs> okay i threw on this granola because i know christine was talking to you guys about sizing i don't know how well you can see but i'm in the eight and a half right now and i am really like all the way to the end on the back of these um so sure staying in my eight and a half size is doable but i really like my shoe to hang a little bit further back kind of like a flip-flop i don't want my heel to be right at the edge so this is where a lot of people have opted to go up that half size because they're not getting that much wider across the top of your foot. And you can also adjust this um, little belt detail that's on there. So you can adjust this and tighten it up a little bit if you want to, um, because this is open. So if you adjust it, it is gonna actually cinch it and make it tighter across the top of your foot. So going up that half size is gonna give you more length and you'll be able to adjust it if you need it to fit you a little bit more snug. So a lot of people, like I said, have opted to go up that half size and been happy with it. Um, okay, so next up, another ampersand. This is the Double Hood Sweatshirt Mary and Bright, available in extra small through 3X. Very similar details to the last one that I had on, um, except this one is... Um, Mary and Bright is Mary and Bright instead of the Buffalo. Um, but it is embroidered. So Mary and Bright is embroidered on here. It has a Buffalo plaid elbow patches. So cute little detail. The other one didn't have the elbow patches. Has the same Buffalo plaid print, um, hood, side zipper, um, leather details in both places. And all then places. all three places <laughs> um, and triple stretch. Uh, well pockets on this one as well so just your two um, pockets triple stretch really roomy true to size on this one um, but absolutely love this in that heather gray and then the mary and bright this is printed in like a cream color but you can see that it has a little bit of a sheen to the stitching so just a cute little detail on this one so mary and bright um but i think i'm gonna change i'm trying to get speed through i have no idea what the time is i don't look don't tell me okay don't tell me I try to see without looking at the time how close we can stay to being on time. <laughs> still have a lot to do. I know. We're going to have to speed it up. Okay, so I know Christine spilled the beans about there being... Oh, I didn't tell you about my earring, though. I need to show you. Um... These earrings, you guys might remember, we've had them in other colors. They are the cute petal leather, leather petal earrings um, in metallic leopard. 
They are releasing today in the red that I have on here and then also green. So let me turn them around so you can see them. And also in green. So these cute little leopard earrings, fun for the holidays. The red you can pull off anytime. The green would be cute anytime again, because of course you're not wearing them together. But I always think of like holidays, St. Patrick's Day, um, Valentine's Day, all different kinds of things you can wear them for. But yes, those are releasing today too. So a fun little holiday inspired and let me show you these two while we're on the earring talk um remember the northern lights earrings they've been one of our also most popular favorites that have the rose gold details well they are releasing today in the black leather that has the red uh, metallic like the northern lights and then the green metallic like that so really pretty cute details nice size on these two they are larger than the itty bitty i think these are two inch um so they are just a really cute leather very lightweight and adorable so the sweater that Christina's wearing that she gave you a little peek of and told you that we were releasing another one. This is the Graham knit sweater leopard collar, same as this, same as this hers, same as the one Christine has on that we released a couple of weeks ago um, with the leopard collar, the tan up top, but the striped detail throughout the body where hers is solid black. Otherwise, it's the same fit. So the Graham has come in several different colors that we've had in the past. These all are the same material, same stretch, same fit. Um, so I I'm in my true size small in this one. Christine stays true to size. Everybody has stayed true to size in these. So Christine does the extra large in this. I do the small. Fabric content is 50% viscose, 28% polyester, 22% nylon. Lots of stretch to it. Um, straighter caught like ambrosian tends to be a side slit on this. So it gives you a little bit of room in the hips. Um, and then very stretchy. So nice stretch in the sleeves and all that jazz. So true to size on this is the recommendation. Um, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we kind of found like if you size up in this one, it ends up being a little bit like too roomy in the shoulders and arms. So most have opted to stay true to size. Yeah, it drops, yeah. Drops the shoulder down and gives you a little bit more of like a baggy sleeve. So yes, that fabulous one is releasing today. I adore it. I've been wearing mine all day long in the solid black. I can't get enough of it. I might wear it every day. Yeah, we do have a few of the solid black still left too if you like that better than the stripe option. Um, but I don't think many. Oh my gosh, I almost forgot about the heat. Oh my goodness. <gasps> They're perfect with that outfit too. Which color? That color. Of course. That color. Okay. Static. Static. I like it. I like it a lot. Do you? I do. I do. Just waiting to see if my comment is going to pop up here. Have they not been? Oh no, I was just waiting to see if you were going to put it up, but I see it now. Okay, so next up is the Accept the Path Floral Blouse. This is available in sizes small slash medium through 2x slash 3x so it comes in four size options um because it is a boxy top and we have not had a lot of boxy tops in this type of material this is i'm gonna say well 100 percent polyester what we joke about everything being 100 percent polyester yeah about everything being the same fabric content we're like oh how does it feel so different if they're all made out of the same thing I don't have my jeans like on in the right place. There we go. Um, so 100% polyester on this one, but a relaxed fit. So plenty of room in the armhole, relaxed body fit. Um, and I, my static is so bad in this room all the time. So it is like clinging. To, it's clinging to me, but it's a loose flowy fit just without the static. We have static guards somewhere here. I need to find it. Look you at it. Look it. at it like clinging. <laughs> <laughs> it's a nice relaxed fit. fit. It doesn't cling to the body. <laughs> Until it clings to the body. <laughs> Until it clings to the body. Nice relaxed fit though. Um, it kind of has that dolman style sleeve here. So plenty of room throughout the bust. Loving this neckline. So it has that little like mock collar to mock collar. Is that what we call these? Like the little yeah. mock collar and then a v-neck but again not too low um this one i'd really say stay true to size in you could even probably belt it and give it a little bit of a look like that pink one that we had earlier um if you wanted to be more fitted but gorgeous print look how pretty this print is in the colors in there this is one that you could pull off for fall it's gonna be pretty for spring they're really really rich tones and so stinking cute 
So I would say stay true to size in this. I know when they're size flexible, being small slash medium, medium slash large. So that's one where if you're a medium, are you more like a, a small medium where you're like a size 10 and you do smalls or medium, or are you more of a size 12 that you can sometimes do a medium, but you're more often a large. If you're more often a large, then that's when you do the medium large. If you're a medium, but you can sometimes get away with small, then do the small slash medium. But it is a roomy fit, so I think you're gonna be okay. It's just gonna be that length factor that um, you're gonna lose a little length with sizing down on them. But this is just really cute. Great, classic, pretty top, um, and just a nice sleeve length. And of course, because we live in different temps, so we're gonna be lightweight depending on where you live. But if you're still in Florida, and I always say Florida because that's where I dream of going um, all the time, then you are gonna, this is gonna be a really great one for you for winter months and fall months when you want those colors, but the lighter weight material. Um, let's see. Boots. Okay, so boots. We have some new boots today. I almost forgot about them. These are called the Be Don. What does that mean? Be Don? Be Don. I they think they're all word plays and be we done. just don't get them. They're the Be Don. I think it means Be Don. Let me show you up close. They come in two colors. So they come in the tan is what these are called, though they're quite brown. I would say they're more brown than like a taupe or that kind of thing. Um, so they come in the gray and the tan and they are a vegan leather. Um, nice soft feel, almost like a little bit along the, the feel of like a suede to them. They have the little slouchy front detail, a cute little stitching. They are, have a one and a half inch um, heel on them. It's kind of a rubber sole to it, um, but they are just really a nice, feel soft on the inside. They do have some cushioning on the footbed, so they're not real hard and flat, but they have that cushioning that kind of learns your toes. Um, and they're uh, almond toe, so it has kind of that little like rounded just a toe on the front where it's not round, round, um, and it's not pointed either. So it has just what they call kind of an almond shape to it. Um, and they're just fabulous. I'm in the eight and a half and I do an eight and a half like we've talked about or a nine. Um, a lot of the time I do nine in closed toed shoes, but this I would say I'd stay in the eight and a half for sure with a sock, without a sock, no matter what, I would stay in the eight and a half in this one. Um, I wouldn't size down though. Stay true to size but you should not need to size up. Wide feet tend to need to go up half a size in these, so that would be where I'd say. Wide feet go up half a size, otherwise stay true to size. But they are very comfortable, and that one and a half inch heel is not very high. And I love the detail here where it gives you like that fold over look, um, and it kind of comes down over the heel, but it, I don't know, they're just really comfortable. They're fabulous. Yeah. Fab you less. They are. They're like the sweetest Western vibe yeah. you ever have. Like if you watch Yellowstone and you want to be Beth Dutton, these are for you. But these are, yeah, I mean, these are cute with a dress. You can wear mm -hmm. them with a really cute, we've got like those cute flowy dresses. Um, that would be really cute with this. Cute with jeans and a sweatshirt. Like you want to wear these with a Sherpa. Like you could yeah. do, wear these anywhere. You wear them with a dressy blouse. Like lots of different options, but man, they are cute. And yeah, if you want to be like Beth Dutton, do you even know who that is? Um, I do. I see all the graphic to use. <laughs> I've never watched an episode of <laughs> It's so good. She's never missing have. out. So anyways, both new fabulous pieces. I think you guys are going to love. Um, but yeah, these boots are really good. True to size and available in sizes six through 11 and half sizes in them. Madam, you're gonna need to stop hanging your clothing and just change. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's, I think the static on that one, I just mm -hmm. wanted to like, be done with it. Be done with it. Okay. I just, I almost, I can't believe I almost forgot about these shoes. I, I would also not have just, let you forget. Just a heads up, I have not taken actual photos of those yet. That's one of the things I forgot to do today. So you're going to see just like the basic stock photo of them um, on the site. But I will, after the live, get some better pictures of them taken and posted of all the views of them. Okay. I'm coming, I'm sorry. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. Okay. 
another ampersand, guys. So same details. Let's cover real, real quick because I need to speed up. So same details, triple stretch material on this cute cowl neck. So if you're not a double hood person and you like the cowl necks better, here is that same cute uh, buffalo plaid mousse on a cowl neck. This one has the um, kangaroo pocket on the front where your hands touch, triple stretch, true to size, Girls who are hippie like to size up one in these, so you can size up one if you'd like a roomier fit, but otherwise true to size, you guys. It's very comfortable, very cute, and just fabulous. So arm patch, patch on the back, and true to size. <laughs> Is that all? That was all good. Okay, I gotta change. <laughs> but yeah, I love that this one came in the cobble neck or the double hood, um, and I love, I love both. But I, I always like a cowl neck because I feel like it's a little bit dressier than a hooded sweatshirt. So for like work, if you're looking for something to wear, um, you know, that you can get away with that work. I should have got a bralette out with this. Oh, oh, it's, I mean, you could, but it's cute like that too. Okay, so apparently I'm passing on shoes. All right, so this is really super comfortable. Um, and very, very cute. This one's available in two colors. I'm only putting one on so that you guys can see it. And let's talk about sizing. What is the sizing on this? Small, medium, medium, okay. large, one X and two X. Okay. Small slash medium is the size that I am in. And you can see this is a relaxed fit. Roomy oversized is in. Um, so this one is a super soft, fleece material. It has thumb holes if you would like to use thumb holes. Otherwise, you don't need to use them and they just kind of get lost in the seam. Um, but I love a thumb hole detail on it. So super soft fleece material, nice and stretchy. This one has a side slit with that. I think it's a slight high-low hemline. Christine, can you really see better? Or no, yeah, is it pretty I straight? Mean, no, there's, I mean, maybe a half an inch. Okay. I think it depends where you put it on your shoulders. What are we listening to? I don't know, but I'm enjoying it. So <laughs> um, this has quite a wide neckline. So this would be one that you can wear up like this either way, or you can pull it off the shoulder and it's so stretchy. I would throw a bralette on and wear this one off the shoulder. That's how I personally would style it. it has the kangaroo pocket on the front. Um, and this is one that you surely can size flex in. It has, like we've said, stretch here. So we talk about that sizing down in anything you want to wear off the shoulder typically isn't recommended. This one does have stretch to it, but really for the right length, sleeve fit, all that stuff. If you want to wear this off the shoulder, stay true to size. I love it off the shoulder with a bralette or even just a fun kind of sports bra style. Like you could really make this fun. Wear it with a legging to dress it down in casual. Yeah, it looks really pretty without a bralette or anything. Under yeah, that's true. If you don't want to wear it. anything with it, but it is just really cute. Great quality. It feels so nice and soft. Um, and I just love the gray and the white stripe. Classic, classic combo there, but really comfy fit. And then I have a new pair of Judy Blues on that we are releasing today these are the judy blue vintage wash boyfriend jeans yeah yes um easy to remember i guess very very true to judy blue sizing these are considered a high waist they are hitting me at the top of my belly button um and boyfriend fit with lots of comfy stretch to them the color of them is really great i would compare the color if you have the bleach splatters the original bleach splatters very similar color to that and even like the wash of them so vintage wash it kind of has that lighter in the front a little bit wee bit darker on the sides not a ton no distressing on these whatsoever. Um, true to size, I believe these are a 27 inch inseam cuffed. 26 and a half oh, inch Oh, 26 cuffed. and a half inch 30 cuff. Uncuffed. 30 uncuffed, so a really great length uncuffed if you guys want to have a longer jean. Um, and then of course with a boyfriend, it's relaxed. So it's not gonna be fitted, but they're not a boot cut, but it's a really nice relaxed fit. I was wearing a pair of boyfriends today or kind of a girlfriend cut um, with like my boots. And I love that they kind of bunch just a little bit, but they're not really wide so they don't go over my boot, but it just gives me a little bit of bunching there. So these are true to size for a Judy Blue boyfriend fit, so sizing down one is an option. I'm in the 728 and I personally would stay in this size because I like boyfriend fit. So I think that covers that and I gotta, I gotta get moving. Move it. Move it, move I like it. To move it, move it. So there are some new earrings that I don't think I got to show you, but they will be in the new this week category so you guys can scope those out. Um, if you didn't know, 
We do have the featured collections where you can easily find the boutique section, um, the new this week, which is going to feature all these goodies restocked and releasing today. So there you'll be able to find everything that we've talked about tonight, unless it's something that is not new or restocking that we just talked about, then it will be not in that category. But, um, Linda, uncuffed those jeans are 30 inches. So yes, they would be considered longer, I would say. But yeah, uncuffed 30 inch inseam. Okay, next up is the heartbeat, the heart, heartbeat better. Heartbeat better. Heartbeat better, Shannon. Some things sound better when I type them out than when I say them out loud. This is <laughs> this is the Heartbeat Better jacket. Um, available in sizes small through 3X. I have just layered over this fun. Um, have a classy Christmas tea. Right? Have a classy Christmas? Yeah. I like reading backwards. Which, if you all remember, this is from the A Christmas Story uh, movie. That classic. What is it called? I can't remember what the name of the leg lamp is called. A Christmas Story. No. What the leg lamp is called. Doesn't it have a name? Well, the box that it comes in says fragile on it, but they read it for G. Oh, and that's right. That it's Italian. Ah, okay. So this little jacket, um, I think that by Cheryl's advice, we've called this a blanket flannel. Um, so it is thicker than a regular shirt flannel, but it has that little bit of where you can see that it doesn't have the flannelly look on the backside. Blanket flannel. So it's a heavier weight. Definitely, like I said, heavier than a shirt flannel um, and more along the lines of a jacket though you can wear this one as a shirt or a jacket for sure um it does have pockets in the sides here and your front pockets so again another one that you can put lots of snacks in um i'm showing in my true size small nice sleeve length on here same roomier fit that we've been talking about so this one again my recommendation is stay true to size in it um I love the blacks and the grays and the white. So really good. Again, neutral that you can wear with a lot of diff different things, pair with a lot of different colors. Um, slightly curved hem there on the sides, but just a really great piece. I love this. Very similar to the hot pink one. Different brand, but very, very similar to the hot pink one that we showed last week, I think. Yeah. Took pictures of. So yeah, true to size in that one. Christine's just going to turn me off in a second if I don't hurry up. <laughs> <laughs> You're almost there. Everybody hold on just a hold, couple. Hold on. Minutes. Hold on. Hold on just a couple more minutes. We promise. Because that's all I got left in me. <laughs> <laughs> she doesn't do this. All right. Okay, so I told you that we'd see you'd see another um, ampersand single hood sweatshirt. So here is this one, and these are the little earrings. I don't know if you guys can see them. These are the most adorable little reindeer earrings that are releasing today. Check them out. They're super cute. I would wear them with this if I had time to put earrings on and could show them too close up. Okay, so this is a single hood sweatshirt. Um, the same details as the other single hood, except this one is only the two panel. It doesn't have three panels. Um, red bottom here. This one, again, they are a tr considered triple stretch, um, but sizing up one is recommended one to two if you are hippier. Um, look at how pretty this print is. This is definitely one that you can wear all winter long. You are not limited to just the holiday season for it, but it's just a really cool, I don't feel so Swedish or something with this print. Oh, I love this one. I want this one for it's when really we go pretty. on our snowmobile trip. Yeah. With our bibs. So these, are, yeah. Snow bunny. Mm -hmm. It's cute. So this one has the cute little leather patches around the, um, do they all have that? I don't think they do. Think they do. Around the um, draw drawstrings around the, oh my gosh, I can't even speak. Oh yeah. Oh, um, nice. And then of course the little leather patch here, triple stretch. I don't know. I mean the, the other ones I don't know. single hoods. Yes, the yeah, single hoods have that. Well, pockets here on the sides, but otherwise same fit as the single hoods like we've talked about in the past. Um, where I'm, I like my true to size in this one. I personally wouldn't size up, but it's up to you if you want more room and want to be able to. And I think the other one we were talking about, I was in black on black. So I wanted to show you guys length. So this is where I would typically wear it. So it's right, right. I'd wear it probably a wee bit more relaxed. Um, but it's right, you know, mid bum, mid to bottom bum. So nice length on them for a long line sweatshirt. 
<laughs> I know, Susan, it's such a good one. Isn't it so pretty? Love I it. Love it. I might so. have to buy a new pair of snow pants in a different color just to wear with huh. that. It's really cute. But yeah, I always, whenever I put these single hoods on, I feel like wintry, cabiny, snowy, skiing. Oh, I mean, they're just so cozy and they have such a good vibe to them. Aspen, if you know, you know. Aspen. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> you loaded it. Y'all, oh. Rachel thought she was just putting a top on for you. She just got the surprise oh. of her life. <laughs> Get ready. <laughs> I knew what they oh. were. I knew what it was. Oh. But apparently only one of us did. I don't know if it's staying with today's date. It's not. So, okay, so I've got so. it on my list to that go ahead and take That would be because I didn't realize. Yes, I am aware. <laughs> I know, I've got a list trying to figure out what was missing. Oh, good. Okay, well, in normal tradition, to my surprise today. You should actually read my exact comment. <laughs> <laughs> what does Christine's comment say? Oh, what did I just do? Christine's comment. In true fashion, we are ending the night in the gracefully comfortable leopard lounge set. This is available in sizes small through 2X. I didn't realize there were pants on the hanger, and I thought this was just a top that I was wearing. Um, but this, it's comfy, you could wear it as a top, to be totally honest. Um, but this lounge set, adorable, so comfy. It is a lightweight knit, a little bit more of a sweater feel than it is like a t-shirt, so it has that like knit feel, um, stretch to the material. And of course, being leopard on leopard, let me show you length of the top is about here. It has a little side tie um, that you can adjust. So if you want to adjust the this tie, tie it tighter or whatever, but that is off to the side. It's the cutest little bow that they have on there. Um, and nice length sleeve. These are like more of like a yoga pant in the legs. So we've had some flares. Um, these aren't like a super flare. So these are more just like a relaxed leg yoga pant style. Um, lengthwise, I would have to measure the exact length of the entire pants. Obviously, lounge pants sit a little bit lower than like your jeans do. So to measure the inseam isn't going to be the same inseam as like a jean. But I'm 5'7 for reference and these are a really great length on me. I'm very comfortable in them. But these are absolutely adorable. So um, I would say stay true to size in them. They are the same brand as all of the other loungewear that we've been selling. So if you guys are size referencing, I would say stick with the same size that you've done in other loungewear. But these have nice stretch and are very comfortable. Um, so they don't feel restricting. They have elastic, one inch elastic waistband in them. So you can see just lots of stretch. Very, very comfortable. Um, but yeah, nice length top. This is cozy and cute. I might need this for when we go snowmobiling. I love it. Because this, I mean, this is cute. If you have company over and you want to be able to lounge around um, and be in something cute and comfortable and not feel like you're in a nightgown, this is adorable. So another a good idea for if you're having company over the holidays to have a couple different pieces that you could throw on. And this isn't holiday specific either. So it is so fabulous. Um, Cheryl, I do an extra large in the loungewear. I wore it all night long for Black Friday and shipping the next day. Most comfortable thing ever. Stay true to size in it. Yeah, wearing loungewear on Black Friday was the best thing we ever did. Yeah. <laughs> wearing yeah. it all night long and then all day while we shipped. Couldn't be any comfier. Yeah. So, all right, you guys. Well, that covers today's live. Don't forget, bro teak items restocked, even some that we didn't get to show. New and restocked earrings. Tons of new goodies, new ampersands. So we're going to get those loaded to this site right now. Um, sorry, I ran long, I think. Yes. Yeah. Um, but we're going to get these loaded to the site right now where you guys can do your shopping. If you have any questions after the live, please let us know. We are kind of swamped post live getting caught up on a few things, um, but we will certainly help you the best that we can anytime. So let us know if you need anything, but otherwise, thank you for spending your Wednesday with us. Thank you guys for supporting us. We're so glad um, that you all are here with us and we just thank you. So have a fabulous night and happy shopping.